To look at Dottie Flacco, you'd never know she suffers from a debilitating disease. Her infectious smile hides it well. It was first uh, discovered in 1987, so that's over 25 years ago. And trying to get it under control is both expensive and frustrating. All of the meds at one time or another have some sort of side effect. Dottie suffers from a treatment-resistant hypertension, a condition that affects nearly six million Americans. And these patients, for some reason, do not respond to uh, traditional antihypertensive therapy. Uh, they end up requiring multiple medications, and despite that, their blood pressure remained, uh, remains uncontrolled. Despite taking three or more medications, Dottie's blood pressure remains high, which can lead to more serious health complications. If untreated, they will progress to major problems such as uh, strokes and heart failure and coronary uh, events. A new investigational procedure being conducted at Tampa General Hospital could provide an alternative for certain patients with uncontrolled hypertension. If a patient has four or five medications that they're taking, all the side effects related to that, the goal is to reduce that maybe to one or two medicines if you can. Less side effects, less medications, you know, more uh, homeostasis within the body. The clinical trial, called Simplicity HTN3, focuses on the kidneys and the body's sympathetic nervous system. The kidneys are special organs. The, uh, their job is to uh, restore or maintain what we call homeostasis, meaning we want to they keep the status quo of the body. Renal nerves communicate information from the kidneys to the brain and vice versa. There's a small subset of patients, maybe 5% of all patients that have hypertension, that have the renal artery as the source of their hypertension. When overactive, those nerves can raise blood pressure and contribute to heart, kidney, and blood vessel damage. The the procedure is actually using a radiofrequency device, uh, a, a wire or catheter, to enter the artery and ablate the afferent and efferent nerves that run around the artery and are intertwined in the wall of the artery. The device delivers low power energy to alter surrounding hyperactive nerves. Once the procedure is completed, the device is removed. And that will break the cascade that occurs between uh, the, the brain and the, and, the, and the kidney and sending off chemical stimulators that cause high blood pressure to rise. The Simplicity Renal Denervation Procedure has been used successfully since 2007 to treat more than 4,000 patients with resistant hypertension worldwide. Tampa General is one of only two Florida sites conducting the clinical trial. If successful, it will help gain FDA approval for use in the United States. The Simplicity HTN3 trial will hopefully give us another treatment in an armamentarium that will help us lower blood pressure for the large amount of patients in the United States that have this as a major problem. To see if you qualify for this clinical trial, contact Tampa General Hospital at 813-844-5458.